there's a guy that lives here that's an archer. Uh, Sven. Fang, Fang, Fang oh. here for work. Get an axe. Fang. Bring the old wood I'm not bringing you any damn firewood. I don't know where he is. It's strange. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What did you do to him? I didn't do anything to him. I feel like you did something. I didn't. I feel like something has been done to him. Ooh, look at all those ants! Oh, jeez, where they all the sap on the tree, huh? Is that what they're after? Do you think they're after all the sap on the tree? Yeah, what else would they be going for? Let me sit down on them. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold. Oh, boy, the fire has been stoked! I am also stoked that this fire is stoked! Careful, your bucket could catch fire. I'm also burning! Um, excuse me. Can I help you? Can you stop? Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Uh, who? Ah, more unwanted moves on a woman, huh? What? What is with bards and putting the moves on women? And having the exact same voice. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Yes, two people spending time together never blossoms into courtship. Is that sarcasm? I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Ah, still you have a point. Camilla letting Feindel visit her isn't a good thing for me. Here, let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Say it's from Feindel. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. A forgery? This seems very underhanded. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this letter real quick. You don't mind, do ya? Of course you don't. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Oh, that was the wrong- that was the wrong scroll! I read the wrong scroll! That's- that's summoned a blizzard! I, I read the wrong scroll! Why is I'm it sorry! Inside? I'm sorry! I read the wrong scroll! I'm cold! I didn't mean to read it! I'm fine now. Fire warm me up. Alright, great. Everything is everywhere now. That's fun! <laughs> Sven's fake letter from Feindal. Dear Camilla, I know I have called upon you at your house many times, and while we may be growing close, I need you to put any desires you may have for me aside. I am a true-born son of Balenwood, and I could never befoul my bloodline by courting an Imperial. I hope we can remain true friends, provided you understand your people's place in the Aldemary Dominion, and respect me as such. Sincerely, Feindal. Uh, wow. That's very convincing. That's a... Alright. Jack of many trades. It is a mess in here <laughs> yeah. now. Well, man, look like a storm came through. Ugh. Ugh. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Uh, do you have horns for the horny? We got beef for the beefy. You don't have s no salt? No mm -hmm. salt? Well, then I guess I am just the salt. Nya! Nya! Talk to Delphine. Who's this other lady? Hey. Impressive headgear, although. <laughs> missing some hair now, are we? It's just hidden under the buckets. Are you accusing me of being bald? Gotta get him a new green tunic, pony hat, master sword. Where is that file? Hey. Uh, um, hello? Stop going over your shopping list. Ugh, that is the last time I'm writing the chocobo. Damn thing messed my files up. A, ch a, a what now? I them on the airship. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Wait, that can't be. Oh, hello. Howdy. Phew, thank God you're not a small fairy. Wait, you're the Dragonborn, right? He is yeah. now, yeah. Yeah, apparently so. Could I follow you for a while? It would make my recording so much more, uh, I mean, Ooh. your adventures so much more easier and fun. Can't promise the first part, though. Uh, okay, what's your name? My name is, um, Recorder. Not a good name. Yeah, Recorder. Did a bard name you? That's not your real name. No, it's not. But I can't really tell you my name. That would be going against protocol and... Uh, it's complicated. But for now, you can just call me Recorder. Or Record, for short. Uh, okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Dragonborn. I'm sure we'll have lots of fun stories to tell when this is all over. Alright, introduction's done. So, let's get to adventuring. Do you only speak in video game references? That could be fun, or it could become grating, I don't know. You seem slightly distressed. Oh no, oh no, no, no! You've gotta be kidding me! Uh, as soon as you mentioned that, she became more distressed! Oh goodness, okay, now what? I can't find some of my initial files. I could have sworn I had them filed securely. 
This isn't good. I can't even smudge over these lost files. The Academy will have my head for this. Uh, it's okay. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> be a dick about it. All right, fine. We'll look for him. Oh, thank you so, so much, Dragonborn. I'll buy you drinks, sweet rolls, anything. Oh, I owe you big time for this. Keep an eye out. Okay, let's see. Thankfully, I just lost the first five files of my recordings, and I kind of remember where those five recordings took place. The first one should be somewhere near when I first arrived to Skyrim, which was in Winterhold. I'm ready whenever you are. Okay, when we get to Winterhold, we'll look for things. Yeah. All right, back to organizing for me. You really shouldn't stand on the... All right, we got a new slave. Do, do, do don't, be don't, shields. Don't call them slaves. <laughs> Hey, look at this guy! He's playing the drums! He thinks you're better than you! Time for you to show him up! Show him what a real musician looks like! Uh... <laughs> great! <laughs> air drum! I can play air drum! Br brilliant! This is great! This is marvelous! Mike, I can play air drum! I, I see that! Very impressive! There uh, once was a man who came from Boston. Right behind you. He played an invisible drum. His name was Boston. And he came from Boston and he played an invisible drum. I've decided to stop playing drum because the world can only have so many bards. Go away, they said, pa rum pum pum pum. I did not listen to them, pa rum pum pum pum. And then they broke my drum because I'm infuriating to be around. Oh, Tell a lot of Feindal about Sven's letter. Or Let's... alternatively, deliver the letter as he asked. I don't know. I want to I wanna get this Feindal side of the story. All right. Where is he? What the? <laughs> why is Fain? Why is okay? Well, that explains why we couldn't find him. Let's go find Feindal. All right, we're going off on an adventure. The, the village actually needs Feindal, though. <laughs> why is that? Because I don't want him to hang around with me. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a raccoon. That's a really. Oh my god! He's so cute. Pikachu looks a little different today. A little different. Oh! <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Yeah, the town raccoon. Yep. Listen to him! Listen to him! Oh my god, he's so friggin' cute. I can't stand it. I cannot stand how cute this little guy is. Come here, you little guy. I'll pet you. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. He's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Look at his happy little face. He's having a good time, yeah. Well, the real swords. We gotta find Feindal, so... Because I don't know where the hell he went to. <laughs> did he get kidnapped? Is did he, he Oh, did he go... Hello, have you found our friend? Oh shit! You picked a bad time to get lost. <laughs> Straight up, wow. Okay. Damn. Don't come running at me with a sword out. That's what happens. Got gut hey, stabbed. Look, a cave. Wonder what's inside. I don't know what's inside. We probably should check it out, but I don't think Feindal is inside the cave. I think he's this way. Okay. So I may have just murdered the cave's guard. <laughs> well, I'm in self in self defense. Hey. Hello. How you guys That's doing? Close That's enough. close enough. Never oh, okay. No, oh. that was... That was... Uh, I see, I see. Well, they're <laughs> bandits, so we feel no remorse in taking them all out. You ever heard of the bandit who challenged the dragonborn? That's because not one of you lived to tell it. Is Lydia using a crossbow? Do we have four archers? She's not using a crossbow. Well, oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I found a treasure map. Uh, Riverwood. Oh, it's near Riverwood. Oh, okay. Okay, we can All right. Check that well, out. yeah, we'll we'll check that out once we find Fangdal. Oh! Whoa! 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. Just checking out the statue and Mario. Game. Oh, what? That's, that's a skeleton. That's a skeleton for some reason. Did you? Did you idiots summon a skeleton that came to life and killed you? God, I hope not. I'm sick of people summoning skeletons. Stop! I'm a spider. Did he come back to life? Or maybe a second one was lurking? I think it's a different one. I don't kill because I like to. I kill because I love to. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's... Where's Fangdal? Let's go back to looking for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we scale, probably going into somewhere we're not supposed to be going. Probably, but I want to know what the hell he's doing. Is he sprinting away from town? Oh, God, she asked me what my, our relationship status was. I got to get out of here as fast as possible. She asked me if I was a worm, would you love me? <laughs> what kind of a question is that? I don't know if I ever told you this, but uh, one of the reasons that my parents didn't want me to do magic was because uh, my dad was actually a mountain goat. <laughs> That's why you're able to scale cliffs. I, yeah. I see. 
Bingo! There he is! I see him! I see him! Oh, there he is! Yeah! Why is he so far away? What the fuck are you doing over here, dude? Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. If it's so agreeable, why did you leave? There's beauty here unmatched in all of Skyrim, hey, to be sure. Stop walking away while I'm talking to you. Hey, somebody help! Oh god, wolf! <laughs> that takes care of that. I should really uh, lay off on those sweet rolls. If only Camilla shared my affections. Or even knew about them. So she doesn't like you. She does well, okay, look, Sven wanted me to deliver this letter saying it was from you. What is that blowhard up to now? So, he thinks he can turn Camilla against me. Mm -hmm. Two can play at this. Here, give this letter to Camilla and tell her it's from Sven. Let's see what she thinks of him after reading that. Uh, uh oh, okay. Is that another fake letter? Why do both of you have the same awful plan to sabotage another suitor? Why did you just have that ready? Should we just see where he goes? Are you a hunter by chance? The hills surrounding the village are ripe with game. Or well, maybe he's hunting out here. I work at the lumber mill, but I escape into the forest whenever possible. Great. I guess you do. I guess you do. Yeah, you escape all the way over here. I can't sneeze anymore. Can't sh Why is that? Ah, I have Crimson Plague Mutinous. Oh, you caught an illness. What is Victim is still able to communicate by whisper, but is unable to raise their voice to shout. How do you, uh, need, get we, better? We need to go to a shrine, I think. Maybe we can go back to that cultist place where they summon skeleton. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Boy. Bones to bones. All right, here's a shrine. Steal your gold again. Try to Talos. <laughs> okay, finally got that frog out of my throat. Good lord. That was annoying. Okay, so uh, how do you want to handle this weird letter situation? Let's, let's read Fangal's letter, too. My Wait. dearest Camilla, I yearn to have you as my own, washing my linens and my fine blonde hair, to cook dinner from my stove while, and tend to my house while I wander. Yours truly, Sven. Maybe we'll return to Camilla and let her know that uh, both these potential yeah. suitors are scum? Yeah, maybe we'll just tell her that both of them are frickin' dumb. Thalmor orders. Hmm. Orders are to summon a skeleton and then let it kill you, I guess. What does the note from the Thalmor say? Uh, stop saying there's a bunch of Talos shrines there. We haven't found any evidence that there are, so shut up. That's it, huh? Pretty much. <laughs> Alright. Come back with proof or don't come back. Look at this. Aged Elven boots. Oh, that's a, they're pretty nice. Aged Elven gauntlets. And they're aged, but I mean, they get the Aged job. Elven armor. It's It's got the defensive properties, yeah. It's something. It's light armor, too, which is goofy. You look like a frog. I kind of do. Yeah? I, I feel kind of silly. I feel like I'm wearing welding gloves. Uh, all right. Back to town. Maybe at the end of this cave, we'll find a majestic unicorn. But then knowing our luck, it'll probably just be a rampaging, killer, stampeding monster. Unicorns are extinct. Shut up. Yeah, they're not real. Oh, Camilla, are you here in the bar? It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Great. It's a fine day with you around. I bet it is. Um. Uh, why can't we? Wait, why is there only an option to rat on one of these nerds? Yeah, uh, Sven wanted me to deliver this letter to you. Another poem, I bet. He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. Oh, that wasn't necessarily what I wanted to do. I grabbed the wrong letter. I'm sorry, that one was a fake. I have another one here. I came here from the Imperial Province to work with my brother, Lucan. Uh... Well, I guess you've made well, a decision there. <laughs> I guess I made my decision. Hey, Sven. That letter ought to convince Camilla to never speak to Feindahl ever again. Funny thing about that. Yeah, um... And we can't tell you what happened there, apparently. All right, this quest is glitched. Goodbye, everybody. Mm -hmm. What is my current quest, anyway? Oh, talk to... Oh, shit. You gotta go all the way out there and talk to oh Feindahl, huh? God. All right, back out there. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna go get an amulet of Mara, and then I'm gonna marry her. How do you feel about that, <laughs> Fang doll? Yeah. You can't really force somebody into marrying you. You'd have to, like, convince them that you're worthy. Yeah, I got a, I got a quarter first. Yeah, you don't really know anything about her. You she know what? Scratch the whole plan! That sounds like too much work! We're gonna go kill her instead! Then no one can have her! 
I'm gonna go marry a raccoon instead! <laughs> There's beauty here unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. Uh, hey, Cam Camille's not gonna be spending any more time, Sven. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Oh, awesome, 25 gold. Cool, that's it, huh? Great, thanks. Hey, you wanna, you wanna see a fun scam I used to do? Hey. Maybe you've already met Camilla Valerius. Follow me, I need your help. Lead the way. Bangdahl. I'm right behind you. Uh, I need you to teach me how to be better at archery. I'll show you what I know. It's gonna cost some money though. Oh, it's costing you hundreds of dollars. That costs you so much money. Oh man, that costs so much money. Hey, Bangdahl, I need to trade some things. What do you want me to carry? Uh, where's the gold? Is the scam not, uh, working properly for you? Uh, the scam of taking all the money back from him? Yep. You lead, I'll follow. Nice scam! <laughs> he heard me say scam! He heard me say scam, and then he did, he did that. He, why did you put, where's my money? I gotta say, Fandal, this is a really nice scam. You charged him 1,500 gold for five levels of archery. I am not happy right now! <laughs> Scam recorder. <laughs> now I'm the one that got scammed. This sucks. Oh, and gold is so hard to come by. The treasure. Game. There's still treasure. Oh, that's true. We have to go get that treasure. Still. Are you a hunter by chance? Shut I'm up, Fandal. You should rip right me right off. <laughs> you jerk. So is it this log, perhaps, for the secret? I think stuff? so. I think. Someone may have already gotten to it. If that's the case, I don't see anything. Wait. Either. The beaver got to it! The beaver scammed you now! The beaver scammed me! Beaver stole your treasure! Oh, it's okay, beaver. You're really cute. I mean, it's just a forest. How many trees oh, could there possibly wait, be? Wait, Mike, the problem is we're not seeing the forest for the trees. Ah, uh, is this... Oh, Found it! Oh, damn. 26 gold! Well, there's a ruby and, and other stuff in there. All right, so there's there was some stuff. Are you two making out down there? Lydia and I are having intercourse in the river. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Come on. Back in the end again. Are we back here? Uh, because we're gonna rest here for the night. Oh, okay. It means so hey. much to us. You're to nothing but trouble. I don't know what you mean. You. Uh, can I make a request? Sure. <laughs> what can I do for you? <laughs> Never mind. I got nothing. I'd better get going. Yeah, you better. Well, that was certainly a day we had. All right. Definitely a day. All right, well, I'm going to sleep. You guys can beat it. Recorder, you can you can also you can also beat it. She wants to watch you sleep. She's recording. That's weird. <laughs> Why? What? No, I don't want you to watch me sleep. Don't you get in that bed. Don't you get in that bed. Don't you dare get in that bed. Don't you watch me sleep either. Fine, watch me sleep. See if I care. Watch me lay in bed and scratch myself and fart unconsciously. <laughs> yeah, I hope you like listening to. Oh, my chicken. I wiggle. That's, is that what you say in your sleep? Did I ever tell you about that? I wiggle. <laughs> okay, so one night. Well, one morning I woke up and my girlfriend was like, hey, I wiggle. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Hold on, I want to be sitting down for this story. <laughs> what? <laughs> my girlfriend was like, hey, I wiggle. And I was like, what? I, I didn't understand what she was talking about. She was like, oh, you were you were asleep. <laughs> you just went very loudly and very deeply. I wiggle. <laughs> and then you started wiggling in the bed. Oh, you're a sleep wiggler. Yeah. I see the strategy you're going for. We're going to raid the raider's mine at 5 a.m. because no one will be awake. Well, we're doing it during a shift change. Yeah. We're doing it during the 5 a.m. shift change so that everyone is disorganized because 90% of industrial accidents happen during a shift change. Mine did. That's that's like when you evulse your finger. Yeah. Yep. They always happen during a shift change because everybody's distracted. All right, time to die, Raiders. I discovered something about the, um, the bound spells. People can hear them. I've got a bad So make sure you summon your sword and then go in. They all they also hear you pushing <laughs> carts of logs. <laughs> Look it rolled downhill. <laughs> that was Ooh, watch very, out for that. Very stealthy, yes. Bandits? I'm worried someone will wander in here. The entrance isn't exactly hidden, you know. I this see again. one. I told you, we have someone standing guard out there. Don't forget the rock trap we've been done. So 
Stop your worrying and get some rest. Rock trap? Your shift is coming up and I don't want you dozing off again like last time. See? Shift change. Uh -huh. Shift change. It's all coming around. Did you hear something? No, you didn't! You heard nothing! Who ah! splashed in the river behind me? My record's clear. Could have been anyone. Yeah! <laughs> Hello, we're here to, uh, I don't know, raid everything. Hello, probably. I'm the OSHA inspector. Here to inspect your mine for ebony arrows that I'm stealing <laughs> off of your corpse. Book of Madness. How to be a bandit. How to be a bandit. Step one, steal all the things. Step two, say things like, your money or your life. Step three, if there's no one to talk to, say things like, who goes there? Or, did you hear that? Or, I guess it was nothing. Is someone there? No. Oh, they heard you summoning a thing. Record fight. Damn! Can you stop one-shotting everything? Thank you. Zach, the bound weapons are actually shit. And let me go and give you this diatribe of why bound weapons are terrible. And you should never use bound weapons. And you should, like, do this thing instead. Remember how you said in the very first episode how you hated being micromanaged when you're playing this game? Yeah, gee, you remember that? I remember that. And also, here's a distinct advantage about bound weapons. If, if, I get, if I get kidnapped and thrown into a prison cell, they can take all my shit away. Guess what they can't fucking take away from me? My spirit! My spirit sword! Oh, that too. Yeah. <laughs> That ghost is smelting something! Huh? No ghost smelting allowed! I love how everyone is just treating the ghost here as normal. <laughs> like, there was just a dude walking over there that's just... Yeah, that's our bandit ghost. Agatha the Ghost Smith. Hi, my name's Agatha the Ghost Smith! What the... Why are they corporeal now? They were a ghost and now they're not a ghost. What the... Oh, they weren't a ghost. They were using a spell to make them seem like a ghost to scare people away. Oh. Classic Scooby-Doo plan. And I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for you meddling kids. Mm -hmm. I am not a kid. Ah, oh, what a fun cave that was. More ore, oh my gosh, it's everywhere. Oh. All right, back to Riverwood. <sighs> this, I, I, I'm getting really annoyed that everyone's like, <laughs> Ooh, oh no, a dead body! We're getting rid of this. We're gonna try. We're gonna have to come back with a stronger resurrect spell so we can bring it back to life and deal with that. We're gonna handle this right now. Out of sight, out of mind. Oh, nope. God, I can't throw it out of boundaries. <laughs> All right, that's fine. That's it, good enough. Leave it in the corner. It's, I, I guess, yeah. Ribbon I don't pepperoni is white run guard. I don't know where else to put it where people won't notice it. Apparently, there's another companion. There's uh, there's other companions. Oh, there are a few lingering around. There's, there's there's quite a few. There's a whole hall of companions, I think. Oh yeah, that's right. I was shooting arrows straight up into the sky and trying to get an arrow to land on someone's face. I'm gonna go there's craft some light something. armor. There's the there should be the sky forge just somewhere around here. I would craft more armor. Okay. Yeah, I want I want to see if I can make some good light armor. Oh, uh, we're never gonna get that nettle bane, but it's fine. We will. I promise. We'll get the nettle bane. <laughs> Moo. Moo. That's a horse. <laughs> Why did I just agree with you instantly? It looks like it's got the coloration of a horse. It kind of does have horse pattern, though. <laughs> horse pattern. It's got, it's got cow pattern. <laughs> We're a little tired, huh? Every day, I just get dumber and dumber <laughs> and dumber.